Hi, many of you have asked about my action file system, so I'm going to present it today via a video blog because it's much easier to show you what I'm talking about than to type it in a blog. Imagine a parking lot for a business. Sometimes there's those reserved parking spaces for the CEO or president, for the chief financial officer, for the courier, for the employee of the month. You've all seen those. Well, I want you to think of this action file system as a parking lot, and each one of these tab folders will be the reserved parking spaces. Let's talk about the container or containing your action file system first. You see here I have it in a portable file box, which you could use, or you could have it in a desk drawer wherever you sit. Uh, if you process the mail on the corner of the kitchen counter, you could have this in the kitchen waiting for you, having parking places, places to put those papers. Now remember that we all get paper in our lives and we all kind of dilly-dally and are undecisive about what to do with it and next thing you know you have this huge pile. Well my friend Barbara Hemphill always says that clutter is postponed decisions. So having the action file system in place will help you to better make those decisions and then access the papers when you need them. Let me start first by telling you what these first six tabs say. Now you can customize it for your own benefit, but these are the six tabs that I've used over the past five or so years and they've served me well. The first is Calendar Data Entry, next Calls Expected, then Current Project, and I must say here you don't want to have more than two of these files in your action file system, To Discuss, errands, and to read. A couple of others that I might suggest if you are using prescriptions and have some medical problems where you're using a lot of prescriptions and a lot of doctor's things, you may want to have one for prescriptions in here. Or if you're a busy family, you may want to have one titled the name of your children's school for all of those parent paperwork that comes home every day. and. If you're at work, you may want to have one for something that you're responsible for. Let's say you're responsible for creating the, the agenda each month for the board meeting. So you could have one in here that says board meeting. So you can customize it, but think broad. Don't do the minutia and have, you know, 20 action file folders. Then it's really not an action file folder system. It's a filing cabinet. So let's run through the six tabs that I use so that you can understand better how they work. Remember that I said to think of this as a parking space. So let's pretend that I've just opened my mail and I have some mail and I notice that Susie has a new address and I know many of you have done this. You tear off the corner of the envelope and you want to save that little address until you have time to get it into your address book or onto your computer. So that would slide right in here. If you've gone out and done some networking perhaps, you might come home with a bunch of business cards. I know a lot of my business clients have business cards everywhere. So what do you do with those when you come home? Well, when you come home or back to the office, you usually don't have time to sit right down and get these contacts into your database. So they go in calendar data entry until such time as you can either put them in yourself or delegate it to your assistant. I also belong to a couple of groups and so I have chosen to just keep their phone list handy under data entry. Next is calls expected. Have you ever called the repairman about your washing machine warranty in hand trying to get them out there to fix it only to, tell, to be told that they need to call you back? And so you set down the warranty and by the time they call you back you don't know where you've set it, your, your mind is racing, you need that warranty, they're on the phone now and it's just very stressful isn't it? So this is a place to put things when you've called someone that ha and you have a piece of paper associated with it. This is where you put it under calls expected so that when they do return your call, you can just stick your hand in and pull out what it is you need. I wrote to one of the contributors of the local paper, so I have this in hoping to get a call back from her. Now this is a forgotten file for many people because they forget to check in calls expected. Here's a solution for that. You just take a simple little binder clip and if there's anything in your calls expected file, you clip it on so that you know you need to look in there. 
If there's nothing in it in the meantime, you can hold the clip inside the file folder. Next is current project, and I said earlier you want to have no more than two current projects going at, at a time, and this is for whatever it is you're working on, whether it's a 50th birthday party, planning a vacation, working on a proposal, or doing some grant writing, that is your current project. And the reason the name of the project is not on here is because it's the current project. So when you're all finished with the project, you take everything out, file it away wherever your reference files are, and this is now empty for the next project. The next folder says to discuss. Now, I used to be a loan manager, and I'd have people coming to me constantly asking me questions, employees asking me questions about things going on in the loan. And that can really chew up your day and isn't very productive. So if you have a to-discuss to file, you can put things in there and be able to talk to your manager or supervisor all at once with all of the things you want to talk to them about. If you're using this at home, this is great for your to put things in here you want to discuss with your spouse or your partner. I've got our birth certificates and some paperwork in here because I want to talk to my husband about finishing up our passport applications. So that's to discuss. Next we have errands. Of course in here you'd put your dry cleaning slip or if you've made a list of the different size batteries that you need from Home Depot, you could put that in here. But I also put coupons from the various stores and office supply companies. I also put in gift cards so that when I'm going to go run around town with the family or alone, I can see what I've got in here. I always check this before I leave and that way I can take advantage of some coupons or go out to lunch or dinner on the gift cards, but they're all in one space. So when we're looking for a gift card, this is where we always come to the errands file. Last and probably the most well used is to read. Many of my clients, I'm sure you can relate, have stacks and stacks of things that they want to read, that they intend to read, yet they never have the time and the pile continues to grow. My suggestion is to print it out or tear it out of the magazine and put it in your to read pile. And the next time you have to go somewhere where you know you'll be waiting, in line at carpool or soccer practice, at the doctor's office, in between meetings, grab your to read file and take it with you. My favorite place to take my to read file is the airport. When I'm traveling with plane delays and layovers, etc., I always get through my complete to read file and I leave most of the paperwork in the recycling um, can there at the airport, but I've gotten through my reading. So don't pick up the doctor's magazines, pick up your to read file and get some of your own reading done. That's how I use this action file system. It helps me to put papers in a place, in a parking space, until I can use them or until they're needed. If you have any questions, you can email me or as I said before, comment on the blog. This has been Natalie from Organized Habits.